Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I want to show you something pretty sweet, which is this extremely compact combination lock. As you can see, the output just activated, which is this purple circuit, not hooked up to anything now. Um, but it is uh, really small. It's uh, eight by eight. That's the sort of service area, and then ten blocks high. Uh, hardly any air blocks, and lots of cool new stuff. Um, there's no pistons, so you don't hear any piston noises. I'm um, using the comparators. I'm assuming I'm saying it correct now, so don't hate me if I mispronounce it for the gazillion time. Um, but um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I'm using a couple different mechanisms. Uh, there, this is a analog input, as most of you guys probably guessed. Um, so it, it, uh, different button, each different button has a different signal strength. And what I have here is sort of five by four-ish area with all the comparators comparators sorry <laughs> is uh, um, sort of a signal strength decoder and it works with uh, dispensers if you hook up a um, a comparator I'm really cautious now up to a dispenser um, basically the amount of items you have in them determines the signal strength and I'm using a sort of variety setup as you can see some of them are on um, um, subtraction and others are just on com comparing um, but um, yeah this thing sort of checks um, so if a, a value 8 comes in it's gonna make sure that uh, it's the value that's coming has to be lower than 9 and higher than 7 that's sort of the the, the gist of it all and uh, that goes into this new RS knowledge array which is 4 by 6 uh, these are all expandable, by the way. Um, also silent, um, and yeah, it doesn't really. I think no, no, there's no com comparators in there. So this is actually something we could have already done in the previous version, but I never really bothered um, to try it to make it this compact. But it is pretty sweet, as you can see. There's hardly any air blocks. Uh, we got this little two wide gap here and one wide gap. Didn't have anything to put there, so oh well, can't have everything. <laughs> everything be blocks, um, but yeah, just to sort of prove that it is uh, actually sequential because I'm talking a lot now. Um, let's reset it. So the combination at the moment you can change it is eight four one six. So if I enter the eight, the bottom lamp would activate. If I enter the four, the next one will activate. And um, just to show that it's sequential, so you have to press them in the right order. Let's do four. No, it doesn't do anything. Um, only the eight, that's the first number. And if you were to uh, uh, click the, uh, the first digit, like the first input twice when you're not supposed to, I mean, you can set it to be eight, 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 if you want. Uh, but as you can see, in this case, it would reset because it's not. And uh, I know this is not my first combination lock. I've made many. Uh, this one is, however, I think, and I hope you guys agree, significantly different compared to the other ones. And one thing people always ask me, can't you just enter the, the last number? Uh, no, you can't. It doesn't give an output, nothing activates. Uh, you have to do it in the right order. And the fact is that I'm using, uh, yeah, sort of a um, analog setup um, means that you can press the buttons pretty fast, a lot faster than you would be able to uh, with a normal system, because normally you would sort of have to wait for the system to override the input reset and stuff, uh, which is uh, which is pretty sweet. So um, yeah, <laughs> cool stuff. I, I am extremely pleased. Um, I will probably do a separate video showing you how you, like what sort of items you have to put in to get the different numbers. I'm not sure if I'll do that right, right away, but um, definitely tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I mean it's small, so eight by eight by uh, eight by eight by ten means that uh, I can probably do a tutorial on it if you guys want me to. So sort of depending on how many likes this video gets, uh, I'll do a tutorial. It's going to take some time, but uh, it's definitely buildable, uh, very modular. As you can see, I'm repeating. This is actually uh, stackable, and same goes for the RS Knowledge Array. The only sort of tricky part is the input, in, which is actually also not really that tricky. So very doable. Um, now it's gone dark now, so I think I've been talking too long. Um, one more thing, uh, as you guys might have noticed, uh, my texture pack changed once again. 
and um, yeah, I know there's like a lot of you guys out there that have sort of penis fantasies. Um, but as you can see, uh, this is uh, sort of the beta version of the OCD pack that Disco released. And uh, yeah, in, in his texture pack, they don't they no longer look like penises. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. I know you guys really uh, have sort of a fascination. I've seen it in my OSU video as well. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gone. No, I'm not I'm sticking with this. You know, have to do with the sort of squarish look of the uh, comparator, which I'm hoping I'm saying correct. Um, so yeah, uh, I uh, very much hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to check out my channel. Like, don't watch this video. Check out what other stuff I have, and uh, and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope to. Um, I hope this helps out. Like uh, people can find some interesting uses for this. And yeah, I wish you all a good evening, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.